Hi, welcome. So happy that you could join me. I'm Charlene, and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Or if you're visiting for the first time, welcome again, a special welcome to you. This is actually my first video, and I'm a little bit nervous. So come along with me, and let us see how best we can figure this one out. This is the Decor and Lifestyle Center. I have a vision for a YouTube channel and one that would target persons over 50. I particularly target that group because when I was looking on YouTube, I see a lot of persons from overseas, not necessarily in Jamaica, but overseas that have channels. And I wanted to create something that would be tailor-made to our lifestyle. Now, that for me is, is really big because as Jamaicans, you all know that we do things different. We, we, we just do things different. And I was looking and I didn't see anything. And I wanted to be the person to create something for persons who are over 50 and loving their life. My desire for this channel is really just to provide information on decor because I'm an interior designer. And I wanted to focus a little bit on that as well as to give you some lifestyle information. A lifestyle, everyday living that. And I wanted to have persons just come along with me just to see what kind of ride we're going to have at the end of the day. I have no doubt that this will be an interesting ride. And if you find anything over here that's interesting, I would implore you to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share. So for the first video, I have an apartment that I did for a staging. And that particular apartment, I wanted to use it as my debut for my channel because it gave me a lot of joy to put that space together. million dollar apartment and is what we would call in the upscale side of um, Kingston so I want to when I put that space together for the for the, the the design to match the area and the style and the price point of the apartment that was really the inspiration with the pieces that I chose and let me not forget I really want to big up Horse Jamaica and Ashley Furniture Store because 
That's the company that provided the furnishings and accessories, even though this is not a sponsored video. Okay, I want to walk you through, just to give you a little idea of some of the challenges and some of the high points of putting that space together. Now, the developer didn't want us to drill the walls. Um, that was one of the biggest challenges that I have. So I had to be very, very smart about how I wanted to hang the drapery, but then still be able to ensure that the hardware could hold the drapes and, and still look aesthetically pleasing. By and large, the entire project was really, really amazing. Um, the staffing when I was doing it was a little challenging too because we were coming out of, well, we were still in COVID and I didn't have the team that I had originally. So I was using really new people. Um, outside of the drapery, the staffing was a challenging, but I found some really fantastic young people who wanted to just come along and just be like a sponge and just, just open up their minds. And we had a blast putting the space together. The decor, as you will see in the video, has um, primarily contemporary pieces. And I've also um, added some touches of red in the design for the living room. The bedroom was particularly challenging because um, I had good space in there and I had to ensure that I could, when I put the pieces in, that it wouldn't be too overcrowded. We would still have space for persons to walk around and be comfortable. The sofa that I decided to use there too, um, and this is why sometimes you really have to think on your feet when you're doing these um, staging, because you will bring the pieces in and you're really not so sure, you know, if, if the pieces will fit. one the depth of the chair I didn't take into consideration and the, the layout that I wanted to use the two pieces could not be used in the living room so after trying to move it around for a couple of hours I had to make the decision to put one piece in the bedroom and that 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 was genius, even if I have to say that myself, genius. so you can repurpose your furniture pieces that you've had for years. Um, I have had pieces that I've bought for 30 years and I decided that I'm not throwing them out. Trends will come and trends will go. But we, in, in, in Jamaica, we don't um, typically throw out our furniture pieces. We don't do that for the most part. Um, persons will have furniture in their house for years. My vision is really to show you ways in which you can just, you know, tweak them a little bit so that they can look fresh and look new and look inviting and still um, you'll be able to, to, to work with those. So that is primarily what, what I want to, to, to showcase on this channel. And like I said, I'll be doing some DIY as well. Um, I'll be teaching you, you know, going through and just doing stuff and hopefully you will be able to learn from, from what I have done. 
So thank you so much for stopping over and I really, really appreciate you. Um, like I said before, like, subscribe and comment, but keep them nice and clean because I'm just starting out, so be easy on me.